Okay, so another word problem here involving distance, rate, and time. So, our friend Marjorie, she's gathering blackberries along a path from her back door to the rear of her garden. And on the way to the rear of the garden, she's taking her time gathering them, and she's going at an average speed of 8 feet per minute. And on the way uh, back to her back door, she's, uh, you know, she's got all of her blackberries, so she speeds it up, and she's going 16 feet per minute. If we know that she was out there for a total of 21 minutes, we want to know how far in feet is it from, the, from her back door to, to basically to her garden, to the back of the garden. All right, so again, we're going to use distance equals rate times time. So let's think about it. You know, here's her back door of her house. There's the garden. Okay, so on the way out, okay, there's some distance. We don't know what that is. Uh, we know that the rate on the way out, we said that the, way, the uh, rate on the way out was 8 feet per second. And again, we don't know exactly how long she walked. So we'll use, uh, just let T denote the number of seconds that she takes uh, going to the garden. Well, okay, let's see. On the way back, again, it's going to be the same distance. We know that her rate is um, 16 uh, feet per minute. And it'll be a different time. So uh, let me call my second one here, little T2. Maybe I'll put a little subscript of T sub 1 on the first one. So it took some amount of minutes when she walked out and some different amount of minutes when she came back. Well, what do we know? We know that the time she took walking out plus the time she took walking back, we know that that took 21 minutes total. We also know that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our equations and we're going to solve for T1 and T2 and plug those into here. So we've got this equation that D equals 8 times T1. Well, we can divide both sides by 8. That'll give us D over 8 equals T sub 1. That's what I'm going to plug in here. So D over 8 is our T sub 1. And again, notice now we're creating an equation that involves distance. And that's what the problem, you know, was interested in. What was the distance? We can do the same thing for T2. We can just divide both sides by 16. So we'll get D over 16 equals T2. And again, that equals 21. So now all we have to do is solve our equation for D. So probably, well not probably, uh, what I'm going to do to get rid of the fractions on the left side, um, I'm going to multiply both sides by 16. Okay, so we would get 16D over 8. 16 over 8 would be 2D. Then we would get 16D over 16, so those would cancel out. Let's see, 16 times 21, I guess 16 times 20 would be 320. Um, if we add another 16, that looks like 336 to me. 2D plus 1D will be 3D. Last but not least, we'll just divide both sides by 3. So this will reduce to just 1, 1, 2. And that's going to be our solution. So the distance is going to be 112, and she was walking in um, feet per minute. So the distance uh, total from her back door to the garden will be 112 feet.